Welcome to the Princess Hina Show. I'm your host, Michael Hila, and our guest tonight, our special guest, is Tui Tui Ohu Afuha Mango. He's the author of the book, Princess Hina. He's here tonight to talk a little bit about his book, and we're just going to have a little topic of just talking for a little bit. So welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Tell us about, about how the story started. Well, the uh, start started from, um, you know, um, I went to a storytelling out over here in the um, uh, Peninsula area, and I um, somebody was talking about uh, the samurai crab and how the samurai crab came out of the, uh, the back of the crab. Yeah. And I was thinking about the Princess Hina story and how the uh, coconut came about because of that lo love story. The love story of Princess Hina. So what we got is the Princess Hina story, and you have some graphics that you might want to illustrate to people out there about the story. Yes, uh, would would yes. you like to get into yes. that? Yes, really. All right, yes, so yeah. when we do want to get into the, the graphics, here we are. Yeah, it's uh, his uh, last word for her was that, take my head, plant it, a tree will grow out of it. And uh, as you drink from this tree, you shall remember that you and I are forever locked in a kiss. Every coconut that you see will have its eyes. And the only spot to drink from is its mouth. It's, they kind of gave him an eel. And if you look, the E, E-L, is the eyes and ears. Love comes after. That's the arrangement of how true love is. Incidentally, the word coconut is a C, is the eyebrow, O is the O is the eyes, the other C is the eyebrow, and then O is the other eye, and then N is C ear, U is its mouth, and then you invert to T, that's the um, nose. If you do, Let's talk about this graph here. This graph here, E is the equator line, is the earth line. And L is something that we associate with uh, God, and that's the vertical line. And L equal one over E square, that's the graph on the, the picture on, on the right side. But the real turn, it happened on both sides, right. where love is on the right side, and if you flip it, it becomes evil on the negative side. Okay. So if you just tuned in, I'm here with the author of the book, Princess Hina, and he's here. His name is Tui Tui Ohu Afuha Mango. And actually, that music that was in the background, composed by yes, grandfather, yes, Shrew, yes, can you yes, tell a little yes. bit about that before we... That's uh, uh, my uh, grandfather, um, while quoting here, his wife, composed, composed that song. And I wanted to use that song to, as a theme song for my, uh, my story. All right. And you have some other graphics that we're going to get to and you're going to describe how a coconut tree can be, you know, a button on here or part yes, of my hat, yes, right? Yes, exactly. And some of these displays yes, here, right? Yes, yes, And so, you know, you want to set this up and tell us a little bit about how, you know, the process of a coconut or even for food, oil, yeah. so things like that. So if those graphics are ready, maybe we could uh, show those to the people while he, Tui uh, Tui Ohu, Shows, tells the people out there in the television world about it. Here we go, here's our first one. The, uh, essentially, what you get from the coconut, you can build a house completely from a coconut. So I'm gonna call it fale, right? Yes, that okay. we call it fale. All right. And uh, you also can uh, get food, 
right? Uh, there we go. And drink. Coconut milk, coconut yeah. cream, coconut um, oil. Yes. You can yes. fry it. Yes. Make a hat out of it. Well, yeah, all yes. that stuff. Yeah, okay, all that sure. stuff. Yeah. And then you get glow clothes from there. You got a hat. Yeah, that's right. We'll see you that made later. that from sandals. from the coconuts and yeah. sandals and buttons. Yes. And then you also get uh, medicines. Uh, a few medicines that we get from this, like uh, runny stomachs and um, some other stuff that you can use the coconut. Uh, there's medicinal, medicinal uses purposes, of, right. of, yes, of the coconut. Sure, sure. And then you have um, uh, tools. You can also make tools um, from the coconut, right. um, like the broom, the spears, and the gloves. They all come from the yeah, yeah made from the clubs, yeah. coconut, and then you um, have a fishing net that comes from the uh, the roots of the coconut. You can make a, a f depending on how big you want, you, you can make a fishing net out of uh, the roots of the coconut. Okay. And um, you can also have uh, create a raft or a canoe. Uh, it seems uh, bigger here, but uh, as, as the coconut goes, in the bottom part, you can carve out a canoe out of it. And the last one is the uh, number eight, which I specifically put it on number eight because love represents uh, infinity. You have to do some significant for others to live on it as well. Okay. So that's the story of the coconut and how it relates to the story. Yes. So give us a little background about your education and your qualification in writing or the... I went to uh, San Andrew School, high school in Tonga, and then I transferred to uh, Artenese University, and I took a, a year uh, there studying political science, and I came here and I wanted to be an attorney, but that didn't work out. I got married and I have kids and I have, you know, responsibility come with having a family. And then, uh, you know, looking around, I was doing real estate and I did very good in it, but my heart was not in it until I write Princess Hina. It seems like my passions come alive. As a matter of fact, it's been two decades so I've been doing Princess Hina. And I, yeah, I we'll go back. Yeah. yeah, well, how long? When did this? Yes. Yeah. What was 1997? the reference for? 1997. Yeah. 1997. Actually, it's when yes. the book was published. Yes. Who's the publisher? It's right there in the, in, um, um, right there. And um, I wanted to make some kind of uh, a story as a reference for the kids the Tong kids and the Samoan kids who grew up here in the state to have some kind of uh, their story on a book form. Right. So whenever they have time, wherever or whenever, they can look at it and find their roots in there. Yes, it's a very, has a cultural aspect. And yes. The, in my opinion, I feel that it's different that you're telling your story. It's not some anthropologist from Stanford that's going to dig it in your backyard, yes. but it's you doing it. Yes. And talk a little bit about the significance of that to the people out there who are well, tuned I'm, in for the first time. You well, know, you get to tell a story. I, I feel like that, you know, we've been, you know, look at, you know, people who come f and look at our people and study their cultures. You're not from there. Right. And you're kind of observing from outside. from outside and doing your... Uh, your bias, right. using your maybe you know, prejudices, yes. and views, right? That not but if you in the in yes the, in the part of the tribe. It's a different point of view when you look from uh, inside out, right? And that's the result so far. I feel like that I'm bringing our point of view out, right, on doing this Princess Hina story. So it's been since 1997, right now it's 2019. Yes. Uh, that process has been a long time. Yes. It's been, uh, talk a little bit about the challenges or maybe the struggles that the, you went through. Uh, you know, being an artist, and you know, especially if you write a book, 
and you know, you know, your friends and your family don't really, really support you. You yeah, know, it's like a waste of time. You know, they, they tell you, yeah. you know, and then they tell you to your face, you're stupid. You know, right. you, you know, go find a, a yeah, job. Yeah, get a job at Seven yeah. Eleven or something. Yeah. But you know, it's different when you have a passion. Right. Uh, doing something. Right. And. This is a passion for me. It's uh, over the years I've been working on it. If it about money, that would have given up a long time ago. Right. But it's this is uh, a passion for me. It reflects the way how I look at the world. And I guess you know the, the coconut has been around for a lot of years, and a story about different cultures have their own story about coconut. But this is in a way is how I look at it from a Tongan perspective and how I believe that we were doing sort of like gathering the fish that we have and share it with the community. Right. It was not all about me. It was about sharing. Communal. A communal right. thing. The sharing yes. and caring, yeah. In case you just tuned in, this is The Princess Hina Show. I'm your host, Michael Hila. And our special guest today is author of the book, Princess Hina, Dui Dui Ohu Afuha Amango. Welcome to the show. You see our set is elaborate with many yes. Polynesian flavor here. Yes. And we wanted it to look uh, aesthetically uh, appropriate yes. for yes. this yes. topic of Princess Hina and yes. the coconuts and yes. many things that are. And as you see it, uh, what is your reaction, or how did you? How do you feel I, right now? I, I, I am very much comfortable coming over here, you know, from sharing the food over there. Everybody came in and you know being friendly, and I am very you know pleased to be here. Yeah, I'm very feel like at home, comfortable. Right. Everybody welcome you, and they, you know, and the sets, you know, everybody here has worked together. Right. And I like that. So I like teamwork that. Effort, the teamwork yeah. effort. All of the people's yes. pieces of exactly. they're so exactly. that's a part of putting together a television yes. show and yes. having our the aesthetics of having a show here. Yes, and so get back to your family roots. Tell a little bit about your first name, Dui Dui Ohu, well, and then the the last name and what does that mean? A lot of people don't understand what that means, so maybe give a little bit of a breakdown. Well, the first name that Dui Dui Ohu is uh, some kind of a warrior, and that's given from my uh, dad's side, and my mother's side. Mother's side was kind of religious uh, people, and they didn't like that. They they actually called me Paul, and that right. name stick. Right. But uh, my name on the passport and everything else, it's Tutiohu. And that's the it's, name that's on that's the book. My, that's the name on the book. Yeah. So. Yes. Back to the book. Yeah. So, and then the last name, the last Afu name, Amango. Last hey, name, you break it down, share yes. it to the people. A lot of people don't know what that means. Yes. So. Uh, last name comes with a, the high chief of uh, Halafuli is, their last name is Afu. Right. Um, ha Amango is just an addition to it, but actually it's a one family. One family. Yeah. One they clan. grew out of. Right. Yeah. The only reason why we gave it that name because. Uh, just to be specific, we were uh, engaged in the last war that settled Donga to have the last monarchy that is today. Which is the Christian. And then, now yes, that's, coming that's from how we get to our last name, Afu Exactly. All right to now. Got you. Exactly. So, and so, and now we're here in America. Yes, right? we're here in America. <laughs> we're here <laughs> making TV shows and yes. actually, you know, this is your first time on television, right? First time, right? first time, yeah, so, yeah, first time. And tell us, you know, this experience is different for a lot oh of people. Oh, my God. You know, so, I yeah. mean, it's kind of cool. We got cameras, yes, we yes. got props, ne we got, never set, been, we got uh, water, like never been Charlie I, Rose show, or whatever, you know. Exactly. <laughs> so, we're just having a good time, and having I think a, that's... Yeah, I'm having a I pass. Think, you know, from here on, you know, I grew up in the time where people read books. Yes. But the kids after me, I have nieces and nephews, they're yes. reading iPads and they're doing yes. this and this and that. Why? And so from now, 
forward, uh, what do you see the future of this? Because I, uh, you know, I I wanted to see if I can sell enough book and make another, you know, you know, looking for people who are interested on in making this happen, and maybe put this story in an iPad. Okay. So younger generation yeah, can they be can interested play on, with it or play with it yeah, and uh, build up stuff. Maybe make some kind of game. Right. Because you know the story is a very interesting story. I could tell you, know. you some stories that, that are, that didn't that are start love stories that kind of end on a bad note. Yes. Like the Titanic. Well, yes. obviously it sank. Yeah. Right, and they died. Yeah. So it didn't continue. Yes. Romeo and Juliet. Yes. The suicide. So yes. that was not good. But this one's unique. It's yes. different, right? It's very, so, very, very unique. Why yeah. is it unique to the world? Yes. To the, why? You know, Just to explain to that. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody talk about love lives forever, right? right? But if you look at all the the, the love story out, out there, it it ends right there. It's tra tra most except, tragedy, yeah. <laughs> except coconut story, right? And I specifically put it on number eight on the picture that we'll I see it yeah. later. Yeah, back to the end it of means the, uh, the coconut lives on for someone else, and and you know just to be you know elaborated a little bit more, the euphoria that you have for your loved one, you have to supply all the nine, you know, the nine yards, whatever that you need to give to your family. Right. But if you can do a little bit more to extend your hand or your heart to love someone else, you're the man. Because no one looks to really live here forever. We're going to soon be, you know, top soil someday. But the least you can do, and I guess the creator, the, you know, superhuman being up, upstairs, made up and gave us a certain time in life. You live this life, make use of it. Make sure you love your family, but if you can extend your heart or your hand to love someone else, you're the man or the woman. Right. Yeah, because I think what happens here in the States, uh, we get caught up with our business and working and nine to five and worrying about stocks and all this other stuff. And then we kind of forget about the, the communal, the simple yes. folklore life. Yes. Like, let's get back down to earth, people. Yes. And what I like about the story is that it brings that sense of community. And tonight was very magical in how things came together yes. and the way I food feel, and yes. just communal, like a fellowship, right? Yes, yes they exactly. Call it. You know fellowship. the mat over there? Yes. It came, it came, I didn't even measure, it came right and it's just fit. fit. Perfectly, right? Perfectly. Like, it's been, it's, we just right. say, it's so, just snuck perfectly. Just, it's such a, a magical thing when everything comes yes, together. So yes, yes, I yes. feel like I'm glad that you're here and giving us an opportunity to talk about it here exactly. at the media center and be able to share this with the rest of the world. You know, if you get a chance to, after this happens, what do you like to see as far as how far the story goes or oh, what is your intention for this? My, my intention is to make this into a movie like uh, Moana or Lion King. And there is, uh, I feel, everybody knows about coconut, right. you know. But they don't really know the story behind the coconut. Right. And like I was saying, you know, his last word was take my head, plant it, a tree will grow out of it. That is for my gift for you and our unborn child. As you drink from this tree, the whole nine yard is set right there on that. You know, that his last words right. for her is actually, if you think about it, we are going to say our last word someday. Wow. But what are you going to say? It better be, you know, have all of these things that you, the book pointed out. You have to have the house, the food, all these things. Bear in mind, make something out of your life or your legacy that lives on for someone else. For someone else. Yeah, because I think uh, the next generation Things are changing. I, I remember when I was a kid, we read a lot. We mm. had a lot of books, folklore books and stories. 
Well, this next generation, I don't know where to connect with them, and there's, that's what it is. Yeah, there's a disconnection because of yes. uh, loved ones are not sharing, or yes. maybe there's more, I don't know if it's greed or whatever yes. else is ruling a prominent thing yes. that's not uh, sharing and yes. caring, and it goes back to love, as you yes. showed in the graph. Yes. So if that's a chance to share that to the rest of the people out there in, in the TV world, you know, make it that you yes. continue on yes. and this is part of education that's we're big on education here at the media center yes. and so once again if you just tuned in author of the book princess hina i'm your host michael hila and i'm here sitting with tui tui ohu afuha amango welcome to the show again thank you for being here we have you know we have some time left to talk about stuff is there anything that you want to share to the world? I think you wanted to say something to CEO or something about that. Yeah, I have a friend named CEO. We've been uh, together. Tenisi, right? Yeah, CEO uh, Tenisi. Yeah. And uh, unfortunately, his wife passed away, and you know he recently went had some kind of stroke. But that guy, I you know, there's a connection between us as we were working together. We've been working together for a lot of years trying to push this thing. And the idea is, is to leave some kind of legacy for our children, for our grandchildren, children, our grandchildren. Yeah. Because, you know, eventually they're going to ask, you know, you know. Hey, what did you do, right? What do you do? Hey, what, you, you got know? something? You got yeah. a book? Yeah, right. And, you know, that's the, uh, one of the ideas that I wanted to put this in a book form so people can, you know, when they grow up, and someday they will grow up, you know, and then they're gonna wanna find out their root, and here it is. Yes, right. it's, um, you know, Hollywood has done a lot of stuff for our people, like the Moana oh. story, right? So, oh. I tell mean, me what about is, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What, what is your take on that? Yeah. I mean, it's, I mean, criticism. <laughs> we see it, and I'm like, damn, they're making a lot of money off yeah. of it. And it was totally, I yeah. mean, in my opinion, just look, like, oh, yeah, that is us, and Moana, it's not us, too. Yeah. Moana, Moana, we were, you know, I am okay with uh, uh, Moana, but we were sort of like depicted as a fat. I don't agree with that, you know. Right. We, 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 we were built, we are well-built people. Right. We're, we're big and we're strong, but <laughs> certainly not fat, you right. know. Unfortunately, to these days, there are a lot of fat people who, you know, consume a lot of food. Right. But in reality, if you look at the Tongan people, they're very well athletic, you know, yeah. people. And uh, I hope that if there's a chance that we make this into a movie, I would prefer to make it, you know, not a fat person like Maui. Okay. I don't, I don't like that, yeah. Yeah, so, you know, when we have art and we have making money, and sometimes when there's a clash because art is about expression, it's yes. about being honest, it's being yes. true to your heart, it's yes. not about a paycheck. Yes. And then there's the paycheck. It's like, man, I gotta, I gotta pay this bill. You know? yes. So there's that, and yes. that can happen a lot. And so I think that's a struggle for a lot of artists. A lot of times, exactly. they have to compromise one for the other. Yes. And so, uh, it's a constant struggle. There's no easy answer no, a lot of times. No, sometimes, like, man, I gotta put gas in the car. So yes. I gotta especially, it out. <laughs> if, uh, especially if you're from Maasai, right. from you know, you come to this country, you know. I mean, you we know, know a lot of island know. people that were like, man, I used to paint, but now I'm just going to get a job yes. at 7-Eleven. Yes. And you were like, well, why don't yes. you just keep doing the art? And they just yes. kind of ditch it. And I'm like, yes. why why you stop doing something that feeds your soul? Yes. Or, you know? Yes. So I'm kind of like, uh, and I don't know what the school systems are yes. doing. Maybe that's something that we could take with the Princess Hina yes. story is more into talking to our youth because yes. I don't know how there's it, it a, is. There's a lot of artists uh, like myself who come from the island that we can contribute to this greatness of this country. Right. But there is no help. You just the language have to, is a barrier sometimes, think, right? Yes. Yeah. You just have yeah. to struggle yeah, on your own and it, and if you can see this, you know, as just just a bitch of book. Right. But it took me almost a two decades now. And I haven't given up. Right. I'm still steadfast. steadfast. Keep going. Yeah. Keep going. Yeah. 
But if we had some kind of help from from somewhere, you know, maybe there's help over there, I don't know. But, you know, when I jump into it, I jump with everything I got, do whatever I can to make this happen. Sure, sure. Yeah, it's, uh, that's part of the, the beauty of finding the right people. That's what producing is about, exactly. is connecting with the right exactly. people and people yeah. who know people, venture capitalists yeah, and, you know, and startup people. I and never knew that this is, for, you know, what you do. I mean, this is, you know, yeah, I and so I came here, there's a lot of people who, who, right. who are willing to help, yeah. you know. So I'm, it's just been I'm, under the radar. Yeah. So we just, part of our, this is what we do here. So uh, this, we're wrapping up. I just want to let you know. I see that uh, any last thing that you want to share to all the people out there in the TV land, this is Princess Hina, the book written by the author, Tui Tui Ohu, Afuha Mango. Anything yes. else? I, I just wanted to, to say that the, there is an outline of what you're supposed to do when you are in this life. You know, 100 years is just, a, if you look at it, it's just a speck oh. in time. But you need to do what you need to do, like as far as doing something here, sharing your talent, sharing your vision, and sharing something with humanity. Humanity. Because you know tomorrow it's going to be topsoil, you right. know. Do something. All right. Do something for your loved ones, and and then see if you can extend, extend it that out. to love someone yeah. else. All right, so that's about the end of our show. First of all, before we end, I want to like to thank the crew, production manager, Pedro, director, Nance Wheeler, Tony Gooch on graphics, Lou on camera one, Roshni on camera two, Bernadette on camera three. We got Eric Lynn on the jib camera, camera four, Blair, Suta, Tony Helu on the audio, and we also have uh, Curtin Hernandez, and did I, thank you, did I get everybody? I think, say yes or no, <laughs> I think I got everybody, right? And, and Dui Dui Ohu, Afuha Mango for being here. Uh, thank you for tuning in. Thank you to everybody out there. Take care of yourselves.